Swipe Up, episode 216 of the show where I share my opinions, whether you like them or not. Some bad news, also. Uh, kind of bad news for me. Bad news. I'm not really for me. It's, but it's it's disappointing news because I spent so much time talking about this show and uh, I'm almost finished with it, but. This last, this next story uh, from Deadline, The Midnight Club has been canceled uh, by Netflix after one season. I am one episode away from completing my episode by episode recap of The Midnight Club, a show that I enjoy, but I kind of understand why it didn't catch on necessarily it's definitely doing a lot of things right it's kind of an anthology show but also kind of not it's a it's a ya show where the the overall umbrella story that's that's being told with alanka and the paragon and these rituals and brightcliff is kind of one it brings up and is so related to what a big portion of our society is like was like during the pandemic is still like uh this confirmation bias that that Alanka has uh just assuming and having faith in the fact that this ritual that she's uncovered is the answer to curing herself and curing the other people despite no proof of that and constantly being proven wrong um, and there's the person, the natural path person, who's also kind of, we're finding out, a cult member uh, who has been pumping her ego, convincing her that she's on the right path. And it's kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer that our main character is going down this this path that is so related to so many people that I'm sure have been cut out of other people's lives, right? family members that have gone down the ivermectin rabbit hole that have uh chosen to listen to stand-up comedians like joe rogan's medical advice uh joe rogan who books the guests on his show and chose scientists that uh will back up his assumptions of things uh, a guy who profits and owns a supplement company uh, a guy who has He's perpetuated pseudoscience in the past, trying to legitimize a scientist who is uh, an AIDS denier, trying to get this AIDS denier scientist uh, debates with legitimate scientists, which for months, which he wasn't able to do, right? Somebody that has a history of the pseudoscience type of stuff, a guy that's best friends with Alex Jones, one of the most disgusting humans on on the planet who just gave his platform to uh, a white supremacist, anti-Semitic Kanye West, you know, right? There's a lot of things in our life that we've, people we've had to cut out of our life that have this confirmation bias, that have this like faith in this pseudoscience and to have that, in somebody in our main character of a show is kind of tough it's kind of tough despite the fact that Alonka means well she wants to heal her friends who all have you know terminal diseases uh and it introduced the world to ruth cod which i hope this is a springboard for her to do more acting if that's what she chooses to do but one of my favorite characters definitely uh, Mike Flanagan, a great director. I love all of his horror films. Uh, somebody that created what many people consider to be a masterpiece in Midnight Mass. I don't necessarily consider it to be, but I can see why people would. For, for this show to be the follow-up to that, kind of a bummer. But also this show, like I said, it's trying to do, it's trying to be an anthology series, right? All these kids get together at midnight and tell stories and while they're telling these stories, they're acted out by the actors of the show. So it's like, you know, there's stories within the story. Each episode has a unique story told by the kids. And it had the overarching story that is the thing that ties this anthology together is interesting. 
but I think it suffers from the fact that it's trying to be it's a really interesting way to do an anthology series but the stories aren't like some of them are better than others and the stories that are told illuminate aspects of the character that's telling the story which is a very interesting thing all of the stories are based on books that were written by the same guy that wrote the midnight club that the show is based on so it's like it's like structurally the ideas that they they used to create the show are amazing but at the same time i was excited to see where the show went it wasn't like i could see how it would be kind of difficult as a show because that overarching story kind of stalls a bit right it doesn't move very much there's a bit of a cliffhanger at the end like we're kind of see that like oh there's there's definitely more to be mined from the history of brightcliff with dr stanton with julia jane with the good humor people with the you know the paragon and and all of those things there's like a lot of questions that still need to be answered after the first season which I feel like it didn't do enough to answer any questions throughout the first season. And that's probably why it didn't catch on. Right. Which is a bummer. It's a bummer. I'm still a huge fan of Mike Flanagan. All of his movies are great. His shows are great. Uh, whatever show he does, I'm sure it'll be great as well. I just feel like maybe it was trying. The idea was better than the execution. Maybe. Um, and Wednesday is amazing, <laughs> right? That's a show that's great. I'm, I'm stoked for more seasons of it. And this one I enjoyed. I'm doing the episode-by-episode episode recap. I have one episode left, which is a bummer to get this news. It's like, well, you know, all of these questions that I hoped to be answered in future seasons is not going to happen. The overall idea of the show, how it's like there's going to be like this revolving door of kids that come through – as kids die, new kids come in. Uh, it's going to be like this refillable thing where there's going to be this new newness with each season. So the life of this se this show would have been fun and interesting to see. And maybe if given another season, it would have like caught on more. So it's a bummer to see that uh, the Midnight Club is canceled. I enjoyed it. But... It is what it is. The first time I've done an episode-by-episode recap of a show that's been canceled. Dave is still going. New season of Dave's coming out. some point, there's going to be another season of Ted Lasso. Uh, of the Midnight Mass is a miniseries, so I didn't expect that to be going. Um, Squid Game has another season coming. Uh, Severance has another season coming. Some great shows that I've talked about. And this one was a fun one to do, uh, but... It'll be interesting to to see what I do next <laughs> because I don't know when a new season of the stuff I've already done. Like Ted Lasso was supposed to have come out already. Hasn't come out. Uh, the third season. And uh, I know Dave has started filming. I know I want to say Severance has started filming as well, but maybe not. Um, I mean, Squid Game is, I don't think it started, but in development still. I don't know. Good stuff, uh, but a bummer with uh, the Midnight Club. Most importantly, shout out to you. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where, where you wake, wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.